Here we are in sunny Auckland with reigning champion of the Ironman 70.3 Asia Pacific Championships, Annabelle Luxford. What's it like being back here defending your title? It's pretty exciting to be back here to defend a title. Uh, you always do put a bit of pressure on yourself because you just compare um, how you're going to how you're going last year. But at the same time, it's a different field and. You just kind of have to try and forget that pressure and just focus on, um, you know, it's a new day, new event, new race. And you had a monster year last year, which was essentially your first year in the longer distance um, after, I guess, a false start at Mandurah the year before. Um, but how, how's your prep been leading into Auckland this year compared to last year? I took my break much later in 2013 than I did in 2012. So um, I'm a little slower to start and maybe not in the form that I would like, but I don't know what the f what form other girls are in. And um, yeah, it really will be interesting. It's always great to have a tough event early on to kind of benchmark where you're at. Yeah, January's a hard year. Like when we're trying to pick, you know, favourites and stuff, it's, it's a hard race to pick because no one really knows what form everyone else is in. Yeah, everyone's always doing different things and... Um, it, it, it is hard to know whether someone's sort of taken a later break or been enjoying their Christmas pudding and uh, a little too much mulled wine or you, you just never really know. And I think that's what makes uh, early season races exciting. So speaking uh, of the fact that it is an early season race, have you planned out the rest of your season or does a lot of it rely, um, rely on what's going to happen on Sunday? Or uh, No, I have made some plans for the rest of the season. Uh, I don't think you can get away with racing anymore, um, just sort of making your mind up as you go along, particularly because points are involved and fortunately I have qualified for Mont Tremblant Blanc yep. already, um, but I sort of have decided in the last few months that Kona is a goal and I'm going to try and give that a shot, so I need to pick an Ironman and it really is a points game, so um, yeah, I have made some plans. Well, Kona 2014 is a goal. It is a goal. I um, I never really thought I'd want to do a race that extended over multiple meals. I kind of thought <laughs> if you put a race between, two, you know, breakfast and lunch or lunch and dinner, that was a really reasonable thing to do. But throwing that idea away and Kona is something I'd like to do. So I'm going to have a crack at trying to get there. But definitely it's, it's not going to be an easy task. Oh, wow. So any ideas of what Iron Man is on the horizon? Not Melbourne, <laughs> and probably one in Australia. Ooh, interesting. All right. Well, hopefully uh, the Ironman debut doesn't go across three courses, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Yeah, hopefully I can just um, yeah, get it finished before dinner. <laughs> All right, so back to Auckland. Let's, let's take a look at, uh, at, the, at the course itself. Um, the bike course has got quite a few tight turns. Last year there was a few spillages because it was a bit drizzly, but this year is looking pretty good. Do you find that your ITU experience with bike handling um, will set you above, you know, say, more the longer course athletes? Yeah, I mean, definitely ITU um, had some challenging courses and the uh, multi-lap format meant that we were um, definitely exposed to more technical aspects of racing than probably some girls who've just grew up doing long course. I think also um, I try and ride with cyclists and I ride a road bike quite a lot of the time. So um, for me, it's important just to keep up the skill level and um, make sure that I am aware of the appropriate risks to take and yeah. probably what is something that I should go easy on. And last year, um, I think it's fair to say that Auckland was a, a career-defining uh, race for you in terms of stepping up to the long distance. You were still pretty new to, to that kind of scene. Um, do, do you see it in the same way? Um, yeah, definitely last year kind of made me aware that this was a form of racing that I was probably quite good at and could have a hopefully a, a good career with uh, so it was a defining moment and um, I really just enjoy, it's always easy to enjoy something when you win or do well but I've really sort of grown to in, actually enjoy this sort of long long course racing awesome well all the very best uh, come Sunday and uh, we'll be cheering for you and hopefully uh, Aussies bring their championship title back to down under that would be fantastic thanks very much Steph cheers